the challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your husky! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of North... who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. In a cabin on the outskirts of Dawson, Jeb Hawkins paced back and forth impatiently. His wife, Lizzie, threw venomous glances at him over her shoulder as she vented her temper on the pots and pans cooking on the stove before her. You know, I'm so gosh darn hungry I could eat a raw wild cat. What is that mess you call supper going to be ready? You call this supper a mess again and you'll have to eat raw wild cat. Take a fork of and fill that eternal hollow in your middle. Well, it's way past dark and I ain't... <laughs> Come, son, that black, sleepy devil I... You stepped on her foot, you clumsy old fool. Poor Miranda. Did he hurt you? Nice kitty. Well, how can I see her? Why do you have to have that sneaking, useless home? That's letter? enough out of you, Jeff Hawkins. If I can put up with that smelly old flea-bitten thing you call a dog, you can let my cat alone. How oh, anybody with an ounce of brains can like a silly old black cat. And, and putting a fancy collar on her like that one, two inches wide. Well, I'm ashamed to have my friends here. That collar protects her throat from dogs. I don't mean dogs like Jonas. Miranda don't need protection from that kind. I mean a dog with some spirit. Well, if you tend to your cooking the way a proper wife should and stop petting this old dog... Are you insinuating I ain't a proper wife? Well, you won't be till you get rid of that cat. That's all I can stand. I'm through. I ain't even speaking to you till I get rid of that hound. Well, if all the... Lizzie, I'm a stubborn man. I'm warning you. And I'm a stubborn woman. And I ain't gonna speak to you till you get rid of that mangy black cat. Oh, well, who can that be? Hello, well, Jeb. Well, Sergeant Preston, come on in. How are you? Fine, thanks. I uh, bought a couple of letters for you from Selkirk. Letters from Selkirk? Yes, they were sent there. Whoever wrote them didn't know you'd moved up here to Dawson. But we've been here for five years. I don't know. Here's yours. <laughs> I gave Liz hers outside. Well, thanks. Hey, sit down, Sergeant. Thanks. Right. Can't stay, Jim, but I will have a cup of tea if you'll make some. Jump on Jupiter. Oh, what's wrong, Jeb? Why, it's from old Pete Hay. Oh, who's he? Well, he was an old sourdough we used to know in Selkirk when Lizzie and I was first married. Oh, didn't he know you moved away? Well, he went away first, and we never heard from him. Now he's dead. Dead? Well, I thought the letter was He coming. left us a gold claim. Lizzie and I was always nice to him. Used to have him over for dinner, and he always said it was the first happy home he ever knew. Oh, nice of him to remember you in his will. Well, you don't look too happy about being left a lot of money. You look worried. Oh, no, I ain't exactly worried. He he done it in kind of a funny way. He did? Yeah, he, he sent me half a map. Half a map? Yeah, and he sent Lizzie the other half. Oh, well, that was just his way of showing you he wanted it equally divided. You say, I wish you'd stay and talk this over with me, Preston. Well, I... I'll be back in a few days, and by then you and Lizzie will know what you plan to do. <laughs> We'll talk it over, then. You see, the, the whole thing is kind of complicated. Well, there's nothing very complicated about inheriting a gold claim. I'll help you figure out the map when I come back. Congratulations on the sudden wealth. Bye, Jed. Yeah, goodbye, Sergeant, and thanks. <laughs> oh, Jonas, what in the heck are we going to do? If, if I speak to her first, she'll think she can run me the rest of my life. No, oh, by golly, I ain't going to do it. She likes money well enough to break down and... She won't be able to resist speaking first. And then we'll still have our pride left. It was two days later 
Jeb sat in the gold nugget bar alone, looking gloomily into space, when Jules Leclerc sat down uninvited at his table. Hello, Jeb. Oh, you look sad. Maybe you need company, eh? Hello, Jules. You do not drink your drink? And I suppose you're thirsty as usual and you're broke. Ah, it is a pity to have such a fine thirst like mine and no money. <laughs> Say, Jules. Oui? Would, would you like to earn some money? Oui. <laughs> Me, Jules. I need money always. I've, uh, I've got a job for you. Uh, these work, uh, she is not too hard. Nah, I, all you gotta do is put a cat in a bag and take her off into the hills and lose her. <laughs> For something so simple, you will pay me. I, I, I sure will. You, you come to my house tonight at midnight. I'll be watching for you. speaking again. I didn't wake you up just to talk to you. Get dressed. Well, you did talk to me. Now that the ice is broke, we can talk about getting rich, huh? You get your half of the map and we'll figure out You what... better get up and find Miranda. My half of that map is pinned underneath her collar. Don't what? It was the only place I could think of that was safe from you. You never uh, find it there. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, where's my britches? Uh, throw them shoes to me, Lizzie. Uh, hurry up. We gotta find that cat. But Jules, you just gotta remember. I... Where'd you leave her last night? Uh, me, I am confused. Uh, first, you say that cat she is ruining your life. Now you must find her. Why? Because my life's even more ruined without her. Now, anyway, it's none of your business. What'd you do with her? Mm, uh, let me think. Uh, first, I have two, three, uh, maybe six drinks, so I do not freeze on that tree. Oh, uh, uh, Then I put the cat back in the bag. You had her out? We. Oui. You see, she was unhappy. Well, 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 where'd you go? I uh, go out the door. Which way did you turn? I turn... Uh, then on, I'm a little confused. Oh, ah, but don't worry about her. I remember she's in beautiful place. A big mountain with pretty lights behind it. I say to her, this is cat heaven. And so much I remember. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was cooking his supper over a campfire on the trail of Dawson that evening. King, sitting beside him, suddenly dashed off into a clump of trees nearby. King, what's wrong? Where are you going? What's wrong with your boy? What's in that tree? Oh, a tree of wildcat, fella? Quiet, King. Boy, that's not a wildcat. It looks like Liz Hawkins' cat. How'd she get way out here? Now, come on, Miranda. You're going home with me. The following morning, Sergeant Preston stopped his dog team on the trail back to Dawson when he saw a dog running toward him through the woods. Looking! Hi, you huskies! Well, Jonas, what are you doing way out here? Hello, sir. Jeb, Jules, where'd you... You ain't seen Lizzie's cat, Miranda. We lost her. What's Jonas talking about? (laughs) Well, Jonas has found her. She's in that box on my sled. She smelled food cooking last night and came to my camp. Oh, thank heaven. We've been looking for her for two days. Oh. I bet we'd have 50 miles. Jules couldn't remember where he left her. Hey, Jay, are you sure it's Miranda? Yes. I think before that he was north, I take her. <laughs> but no, he must have been south. <laughs> yep, yep, Jonas, you're right. Miranda's in this box. Jay, I'll make sure. Yeah. Hey, what? what? It is 
Esmeralda, isn't it? Yes, it's Miranda, all right, but it's gone. Her collar? I, I didn't want the cat. I wanted the collar. Oh, Sacre well... bleu. First, you don't want cat. Then you do want cat. Now, you don't want cat. It, it was the <laughs> collar that was important. No, no, no. Why you not tell me this? You know where the collar is, you... Oui. I do not get the money for lose the cat till she is lose. How oh, you think I get six drink to keep from freeze? I say, this cat, she do not need color for leaving woods. So, I trade the color to Barney for six drink. And we've been trapping 50 miles looking for that. When all the time it was right in Barney's bar. <laughs> Barney, Jules traded you a dog collar night before last. Would you mind selling it back to Jeb here? For sure, Sergeant. I'd sell it to him if I had it. Huh? If you had it. Well, I thought it would fit my kids. So I traded it at Pierre's for some sugar. Oh. Well, never mind, Jeb. We'll go over to Pierre's. Uh, Pierre's right over there at that table. Huh? Pierre, come here. Hello, Pierre. Hello, Jeff. Hey, I say, Pierre, I want to buy that collar that Barney traded you yesterday. Yeah, the one you give me the sugar for, Pierre. Oui. But I do not have it. What? Did you sell it? No. But my partner, Roger, he sell it today. Who did he sell it to? I do not know. Oh, where is Roger? Uh, he's <laughs> gone on hunting trip today. Ah! He will be back maybe one, two weeks. Well, Jeb, I guess you're going to have to face the music. At least you can take Miranda back to Liz. Yeah. And and tell her I found their cat and lost our fortune. And you say Jonas found Miranda? Why, he he led me right to her. Uh, didn't he, Sergeant President? Uh, yes, I guess he did. Jonas always liked Miranda. Jeb, huh? I've got to ask you to forgive me. Forgive you? Mm, for doing what I did. What you did? Well, I thought you killed Miranda, Jeb. Because today I saw a collar in Pierre's store. I bought it. The collar? You have it? Mm-hmm. And the map isn't there. Have you got it? Oh, the map. Well, that's what I have to ask your forgiveness for. What do you mean? I lied to you, Jeb. The map was never under the collar. I just told you that to make you get Miranda back. Then when you brought her home without the collar, I was just plain ashamed of myself. Well, I'll be... You better drink some water, Sergeant. Jeb, can you ever forgive me for doubting you? Why, uh... Why, uh, sure, Liz, just forget it. Well, uh, now that the map is found and there's peace in the Hawkins household, I'll be going. Hey, say, I can't thank you enough, Sergeant. And when you get outside, pat that dog of yours for me. Eh? I'll, uh, I'll do that. Good night. Good night, Good night Sergeant. Well, uh, why did you tell him to do that, Jeb? What did King do? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, it's just that I... Like dogs. And cats. One thing, on your head. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. Larry McCann speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.